lang ganito ha. As it takes a while before the audience realizes we're live. Yes. And then, um... Tell me fair lang na. Try to reconnect. That's connected. Click lang din sa It's sure, no? Kasi I'm only using data eh. Um, i-connect sa atin. Adapter. Right na tayo, sir. Alive na rin tayo. We're also live. Kasi ano, mukhang mahina. Kasi wala akong... Uy, nakikita yung ano. Nando? Ayan na. Ayan na, nakalive mo po. Ah, okay na? Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Bag? Yung bag? There. Okay, game. Hi, there. Okay, we're... Okay, we have the hearts there already, so we're live. Hey, guys, hi. Hi, what's up, Ben? Okay, na ba si, ano? Si Secretary. Si Secretary Pinyon? Hindi pa, kasi yung, ano, ano, ano. Sige, pasensya muna, ha, kasi we're having some technical issues. We've never done this before. Okay, okay. 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 First time namin. Yeah, together. Dati saray kami mag-live pagkakahiwala. First time kayo mag-visum. Ang ganda ang title na. Ano ako po ako? Matatawa ako. I like your comment na. Ate ka. Baka ba? Ate ka. 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 This is actually as is as it's going on. Yes. We're targeting a million audience tonight. Oh, yeah. So we wanna hear, we wanna hear from you. When to hand that to? So, okay. Um, you know, why did we decide to do this? Why? First of all, good evening, everyone. Hi. Good evening, and uh. I'm Karen Balita. I'm I'm Dr. Mugita Padilla, and. I'm the farm boy. Farm boy. Farm boy. Secretary Pinyol, no? And why did we decide to do this, Carla? Ikaw magpaliwala. Well, kasi, ang dami natin nakikita sa social listening natin. We are the senators they never had. And yung may mga regrets ngayon from all fronts, from many groups. And sabi namin, we want to tell you what our plans are. But first, let's clarify. We're not doing this because we're not happy with the results. We're not contented. What we don't accept the results. We're just doing this to reach out to our followers and to reassure them that whatever happens, we will we will continue our focus. Yes, correct. We're happy with the with two. We are happy with the journey. Yes. Yeah, we're happy with the journey. No regrets. No regrets. I'm happy that I did it. No. And ah, mara mi ako storya. Mga nice stories, funny stories, no? Uh, ano? Ano problema? Ano ba? Harap sa inyo, sir. Ano ba? Uh, Iharap sa akin. Ah, yung audio ko daw. This can, my audio. Can, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yes? Yeah, okay. Uh, yes. Parang monitor Yeah, I think. Ano? Doctor, ako lang kasi nakaw. Ako lang kasi nakaw. Sige. Uh, ask them if I can, they can hear me well. Okay? Okay. And, um, so anyway, there's no regrets. And, in fact, grabbing experience, no? It's my first time to ever run. No, same here. Same. Because same. My first time to run in a national position. Yeah. Right. national position. I was governor. Yeah. I was mayor. He was governor of Cotabato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, ang dami niyang followers na talaga from Cotabato. Actually, uh, from the very beginning, Dr. Carl, uh, Dr. Mugita, I was a reluctant candidate, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, because I knew my limitations. Uh, number one, I didn't have the funds. 
Pero pinagbigyan po yung grupo ng mga magsasakaan na talagang humingi ng tulong na kung pwede ay kayo ang sila. And if there's anything that I can uh, say that I accomplished at during the campaign, it's the fact that everybody talks about food security right now. Yes, correct. Yeah. All candidates. Uh, all yeah. candidates. Uh, no, and health security. Also. Uh, because during the pandemic. But especially food security. And you yeah. know, that became a really stress hallmark or I don't know, a major yeah. platform of our campaign uh, was food security. And because it's the correct. number one threat to national security. Yeah. Correct, correct. And even early on, we thought, we didn't know how to know how to know. Uh, early on, one of my first interviews was CNN. My first, first interview on TV was CNN. It was October. And one of the things they asked me about my platforms, and I said, alagaan na magsasaka at mag-insta. Take care of the farmers and fisher folk. I did not say food security. Uh, no. But I said, you know, we are killing them. One day, mag-iisip tayo, wala na tayong magsasaka. Yeah. Wala na tayong mag-insta. Kasi hindi na sila yung alagaan. And I said that, this is what I said then, the wars of the future will be fought over food. Yeah, not you know, over and, territory or And food will be a weapon of war. Yes. Wala pang Ukraine noon. Uh, but I'm sure you, we all so see that. We all in other words, that. you did the pinyol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi yung aking John the Baptist. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh my God. I'm a Christ. But my point is, without knowing you, but mm -hmm. hindi ba parang sensitive tayo sa mga nangyayari sa mundo? Mm -hmm. Kita natin eh. So, ngayon, money. Ngayon na uh, may mga bagong senador. So, may ba yan natin, ma? Congress and, uh, okay. Kasi lahat sila ginamit ang food security as a campaign platform. Correct. Diba? Kasi yun ang pinakang basic to the needs yeah. of, the, of the people. Oh. Oh. Ngayon, dapat totohanan nila. Kaya ba nilang totohanan? We have to really, really make sure because it's for the people. Yeah. It's, it's not a joke. Right? Actually, lahat naman yata tayo ginamit yung food as a, as a message. You know, as a Very key important message. key message, but yeah. it should be taken seriously. And I'm really praying that yung mga bagong Bagong senador, whether it's comebacking or new ones in Congress, they will really, really take this serious. And our new president, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., si Bongo, I hope he really, really um, takes this to heart, di ba, Manny? Yeah. Kasi, I think he, you know, he is fully committed to uh, uh, securing uh, food for the Filipino people. Uh, kailangan niya lang talaga ng uh, magaling na back up him. Kasi siyempre, maraming areas ang pagtutunan niya, economies, Altering yeah, health. Uh, health. health issues, even and, education. Uh, yeah, and uh, education. Uh, so, kailangan na talaga ng isang uh, magaling na backup team. And you know, during the campaign actually, and even before that, I was already proposing that dapat yung food security clusters should be independent from the economic uh, economic cluster. Because na nasaksak dun sa economic cluster. Eh. Kasi uh, pwede magkaroon ng conflict of interest yung food and economics. In fact, uh, may isang uh, uh, international investment banker who explained it very well, no? si uh, uh, Stephen Conjine. No? Mm -hmm. uh, and I heard him on ANC. Kinat ko yung video actually. Kasi yeah. nasabi niya, yeah. you know, uh, most of the advanced countries actually support their agriculture for two reasons, social peace, and food security. Okay. Napakaganda ng explanation niya. Totoo. Sabi niya maaring oh, yes. po, maaring Social sabi niya maaring uh, maaring uh, mag-import ka. But if you have a big population like the Philippines, hindi ka pwedeng umasa doon sa import. Import. sa kapitbahay mo mm -hmm. uh, to supply your people with food. And imagine during the pandemic, okay. paano ko naging protective ang bawat bansa? Yeah. Precisely. No, actually, no. talking about protectionism, nangyayari na ngayon. Gawa ng yung war sa Ukraine. That war is going to be a protracted war. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. Now, the war, because it's talking about protectionism, may may negative connotation. I I would rather I would rather call it self preservation, self preservation, rather than protection. Self preservation. It's happening already around the world. Yeah. At sa kaan sa pino ng investment banker, nang sabi niya, ano mo? Kung ang bansa mo is Singapore with five million people, that's okay. You rely on your neighbors for your food supply, but if you have 110 million population, you can possibly rely on it. You know, kahit gano'ng kakayaman, kahit gano'ng kakayaman ang pera, negosyante ka, import ka ng import, one day, anong gagawin mo sa pera mo? Kaya nga sabi niya, in the end of his narrative on food security, sabi niya, you may have the money, but if you don't have the supply, 
considering na agricultural yes, kasi yung yes. fifth longest coastline. Yeah. Yes. So, so uh, wala dapat uh, issue, no? Ako, from where I stand, I personally, no, uh, ako siguro that would be my last uh, last participation in politics. So you're not running again? I'm not running again. Uh, I'm going back to my farm. And I've told people uh, before, even before the election, I've told people that if I, if I don't make it, I'm going back to my farm. Yeah. That, but that would not stop me from uh, uh, pursuing my advocacy. Mm -hmm. Like say, for example, bukas, memang bago akong converts eh. Oh, converts. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes. converts. Uh, si Ping Lakson, <laughs> All right. si Ping Kita Padilla. <laughs> Pwede sumasama na ako. <laughs> 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 Pwede ako. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're looking into aquaculture. Aquaculture. Okay. Okay. Uh, kasi right now, uh, yung ating uh, protein uh, requirement actually yeah, for the feeds no for, for the feeds no, no for, 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 the for, for the people, people. Oh. ang pinaka stable actually is aquaculture because fish. you won't quantify it yeah. pwede mo project pag meron ka ganito karaming fish cages mm -hmm. ganito karaming mga uh, uh, ko no right. but we're doing this as a um, as a uh, private uh, endeavor no okay. pero with the same with the same mm -hmm. mindset that I would like to prove to everybody that hey, the Philippines does not need we to import, import fish, fish right? Right. Oh, because no, we have the fifth longest coastline right. in the world. Oh. It's just a matter of how do you do it. Yes. How do you make sure you have fish? Oh. And technology, oh, technology to do it. We have, we have we the technology. Have we have it. And we have, we have already started when, producing our own local fish. Can you convert that in? Oh, Sama conversion. The <laughs> <sure. laughs> uh, <laughs> conversion is not going to be able to convert it. I think it's going to be able to convert it. I think it's going to be able to convert it. May okay. farm na siya ngayon sa Silang. Pero oh, right. may tulungan rin ni Marnie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think mag Facebook Live ako ng the farm. Yeah, sure, so, bukas, sure. No? So tuloy na tayo sa Mindoro, yung farm ko ng ating. Oh, <laughs> pwede, pwede. Oh. So yun lang naman ang akin, uh, Doc Carl. Uh, uh, para sa akin, wala akong sama na ito. Sa resulta ng election. Tangkap ko yun. Ako ang last line ko nung tumakbo ako nung nag-file ako ng COC. Dahil will be done. Ako rin. Same. Pareho tayo. Dahil will be done. Pero at the same time, ang dami mong nakita. I think... I believe God wanted us to run. Yeah. Okay? Agree? Agree. Agree. For certain reasons. Yeah. No? Manalo mo na matalo, di ba sabi ko? Mm -hmm. Panalo tayo. One is, kilala tayo ng tao. Two is, nakaroon tayo ng platforma to talk about our advocacies. Correct. Who was talking about food security before? Yeah. Who was talking about health security? Yeah. Who was talking so much about educational crisis? Mm -hmm. Meron, but not as much. No? Yeah. Three is, we presented solutions. Correct. Solutions. Yun ang unique doable. sa atin eh. We have, we have doable solutions. Yes. Now, it's our challenge now. I hope I the ones who want to pursue the solutions. Now, number four, nakita ko rin yung mga problema sa electoral system. Yes. And I think, I really believe, it has to be a, it has to be reformed. Now, yeah. whether there's a political will to do so, I don't know. Pero saka na yan, nagsabi mo ito siya. Doon muna tayo sa advocacy natin. Doon muna sa advocacy natin. natin. So, like, ako, we're still in the pandemic. In fact, we're done with food security. We're still in the pandemic. Ito, isa sa mga yeah. pinaka matunog na aking mga sinasabi noon is, feel health. Yeah. Feel health. Kasi we all know there's a big problem with human health. Mm -hmm. Ang dami na sasabing may sindikato. I mean, I'm very brave to say yeah. that. And whoever is there, napakalaking problema, napakalaking trabaho. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really hoping that the Senate will be able to do an oversight and fix yeah. the Universal Health Care Act. Put, uh, plug yung mga loopholes, yung mga uh, nagpapalusod sila, to be pagkaputas, no? Kung sila pa rin sila sa ginasod. Kasi kung wala tayong pati ng health, health uh, insurance, Social health issue, right? Even the universal health care. We need that. Children and malnourished. malnourished. At ang naging platform ko doon, sabi ko, papakainin yung kinder to grade 3, 
hindi lang na, na nourish sila, hindi lang na encourage ang parents na dalhin sila at yung bata pumasok. We are creating local uh, demands. Actually, mayroong existing na, no, na training program. Mm -hmm. But just like other programs, actually, it's also corrupted. Yun. Instead, napakainin na maganda yung, ano, yung mga bata, binibigyan ng tinapay na may amag. Oh. Uh, Kaya na, yeah, of course. Kaya na, should know. I'm from the province. Kaya na, as a suggestion, as a matter of policy, kailang ma-define na yung local sourcing ang gagamitin nila para mag-increase ang demand for local agricultural produce. At the same time, dapat sabi na, gas-gas na it takes a village to raise a child that engages the entire village. Yeah. Yeah. Pero, pero ano mo ang kailangan talagang gawin if you're talking of reform? Kailangan natin ng EDCOM, yun ang gusto ko talagang i-push. Education Commission. Uh, to look deeply and widely into how our educational system is. Yeah. Ang ginawa natin yan in 1990. Kaya di ba Dex dati nabiyakit sa tatlo, sweldo ng teacher, uh, post-pandemic education, industry 4.0, mm -hmm. papasok lahat dyan. At saka yung agriculture, may paborito ako sa inyo. No? Ang agriculture, sabi ko, uh, and this, si Isko got this, eh. inadapt niya. Eh. Sabi ko, agriculture, ginawa nila sa K-12, sinama nila sa TDL Tech Walk Livelihood. Hindi pa hindi na nga sikat yung tech walk like you. Sinama mo pa yung agriculture. Ay di lalong nangamote doon. O ang ganda-ganda sana. Ngayon ang sabi ko, yung STEM, gusto ko gawin STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Isama mo ngayon yung A. Yun yung agriculture. After all, ang problema ng agri, science, technology, and engineering. Ayun. And, and then, uh, uh, I research about it. That's how other countries have done it. Kaya mga bata nila, Aside from the glamorize mo, yung branding ng agriculture to go along with science and technology, which is so much in demand sa mga bata, naging totoo ka in solving the problem of science and technology. Yeah. But innovation. Moving, moving, moving forward, uh, Dr. Carl, uh, from here on, ano ang advocacy mo? What, what, what are you intending to do? In, in, in your field at least, no? Yeah. Uh, given the fact that uh, you did not make it in Uh, uh, Tuloy-tuloy, actually, I become better, so uh, I'll be back to the media. Meron ako na uh, coming show. I will continue to write in the Business Mirror, which I have done for more than a year. I'll be back on television and radio. Then, business. Okay. Business ko. Pero ang maganda, ang business ko naging, ano, nagkaroon lalo ako ng social relevance. Ang civil service review ko, ginawa kong libre sa lahat. Civil service, civil, no, civil service ah, civil review. Civil service review. Yung sorry. eligibility. Alam mo, yeah, 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 yeah. bakit? Kasi ang baba ng passing nun, <coughs> and I want to contribute to nation building. Okay. Kaya, no, ikaw, anong... Well, for one, I'll go back to practicing. I need to practice. But twice a week lang. Yeah. Kasi, kasi, Dati ba ilan? Almost every day, nasa hospital ako. She's you know? the best of time. No, no. I'm the opta kasi of his yeah. I'm the opta of his daughter, daughter. his wife. Yung daughter ko, ka, ano, nakasalamin. Ni Lacey ko. Ni Lacey ko. Pero, normal na yun. Anyway, no, but... Pwede ba? Pwede ba? Pwede ba? Baka ikaw, may katarata ka na yun. Baka? 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 Advocacy ko pa rin si Uber, so I have care. Hanggang yeah. ngayon, no? I will help you with the food security. Magiging mas active ako sa social media. And hopefully TV, radio. No? Yeah. Guess, guess mo kung magiging sa mga sarili. Oh, magkaroon ko rin sa rin yung show. Yung yeah, isa pa yun. Yeah, And then sure. I'll also write. Maybe you're not asking. Mm -hmm. And then, at the BBU ako, not at Bonds, eh. Hindi ko alam yun, hindi ko alam yun. Ano yung pala yung joke namin? Joke namin? Ano yung joke? Sige, joke. Joke time. Joke time. Joke time. Kasi, 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 kasi totoo naman, people ask me, ano po yung aking business secret? Oo nga. Since I was high school, ang panginis sa mukha ko is buns. Okay. Buns cream. Buns cream. Buns ako tapos paghugas ko ng mukha, buns cream. Buns, my cellar water. Puro buns. Puro buns. So sabi ko, grabe naman ang endorsement ko ng buns. Sabi ko, dalawa lang ang mahal na, ano ko, na ritual na hindi pa, si Shane, si Shane, no? sa pag-iit, sabi ko. Okay. So, ito naman, so, pag nag, nag, kasi NPC siya. Ikaw naman, secretary. Ano? Ano? NPC siya, uh, oh, ako, oh, oh. Uh, reforma, uh, di ba? So, different parties, kaya lang si Soto Lacson. So, uh, nasa kampanya kami, tinatawa niya ako, tapos hmm. ano siya sa'yo mo? Tumagawa. Sabi ko, ito yung beauty na tinatago ng lolo. <laughs> Ayaw panigawan. <laughs> At saka maganda yung kutis niya kasi paano siya ginagamit. Oh. Ako, ganitong kutis ko dahil perla. <laughs> <laughs> Nilalabad yung mga kanya. <laughs> But you know, if there's, there's one thing that I uh, actually would uh, call uh, my greatest success in this campaign, it's uh, the fact that I found new friends. Oh. 
Who uh, are? Pag-iya, I'll take lang. That's Alright. Thank you. We became Alam mo, totoo lang, si Bing, uh, sayang. Uh, we're not saying that. Hindi natin sinisira yung suit na nag-eleksyon. Pero sayang. Napakagaling napaka na tao, napaka-sincere. Will he take a position? I don't think so. What about you? Uh, no. Uh, tama na ako sa ugin. Tama na. Talaga yeah. private? Yeah, private na. Private. Ikaw? Ako? Ako? You're yeah. asking me? Yes. If it's offered, I will consider it. Okay, that's a year after. A year after. Today. We cannot we cannot do it now. But, you know, going back to what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to ask you again later. No? Pero kami may, may, bla, may balak na kami kami uh. sa Aqua Culture. No? But, and I want to do a lot of, I want to visit even that LGU still. Kasi, alam ko. You want to campaign in advance? Hindi <laughs> naman. Oo. Kasi, I want to, I want to. Ang dami kong makilala eh. Uh, okay. In this campaign. Correct, no? correct. For example, mental health. Mental health, yeah. the children of the youth, yeah. it's getting worse. It was, really ba- it was bad to start with, then the pandemic made it worse. You know what I taught in nursing? Oh. Psychiatric okay. and mental health okay. nursing, and so, specialists. It's already, it, was, it became bad to start pandemic. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, this election caused a lot of mental health More. problems. Even in some uh, young people na, na indoctrinate yung mga mulang hate. Pwede mo pa kaya coffee? So, <laughs> so much hate, uh, so much hate and bitterness, yeah. and we have to fix that. No? Because yes. they don't know what to do now. Correct. And I, I have I work with people, I think you know who these people are. Not, they have an app that can be used to okay. the youth, the 3G lab, okay. for mental health, especially really? when they need help. Mm-hmm. So there are many talented Filipinos. Tapos meron din akong nakilala na ang tawas ko yung One Life. Yung parang complete laboratory na traveling. Ah, yeah, yeah. I know that, that, that. And there's so many things we can use for universal health care. And I know from <coughs> and daming LGU guys are capable already, but there are many also who are not capable, yeah. so we can help them. So I I just want I don't want to stop learning in Amit. Yes. Because what what we did a lot of us learn it. Learn oh, and learning. It's talaga ang binabalyo ko dito. Yung pwede mo, ang maganda rin na ma- maalagaan natin mga sectors that we realize needed it most. Yes. Like yung farmers, yung okay. fishermen. Actually, yung akin naman, Dr. Carl, um, I'll pursue my advocacy for Green Philippines. But since uh, I cannot afford to give out my savings for free, not anymore, I have to make money, I have to earn money. You know? After have to, spending so much. Yeah. Also. Ako no, hindi man ako kumasa sa malaki. Yung marami sa akin, yung seedlings na pinaligay ko. Mm-hmm. I gave away about 600,000 uh, giant bamboo seedlings. Ah, yeah. All over the country. Kaya paborito ka ni Dr. Clarita. Ah, uh, yeah, right, right. And now, uh, mayroong mga sumusulat pa rin sa akin nag-message kung paano daw maituloy yung programa. Uh, sabi ko sa kanila, this time around, I'll have to ask you to pay for my my, you know, siblings. my siblings because I cannot survive if you don't pay for it. No? But uh, ang plano ko is, it would be a uh, whole package. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi ako magbibigay lang sa isang community ng sampung kawayan, kundi one whole community they have to organize. Because we have to plant at least 1,000 hectares in one community para ang downstream activity niyan will be the processing. Okay. Okay? Kasi yung bamboo uh, is the wood of the future. No wood right. of the future. No? Wala na tayo kahoy na yun eh. Mm-hmm. So yung bamboo, napakabilis. Four, uh, four years, five years, kung may processing facility ka, mm-hmm. may kakagawa ka na ng uh, tiles, floor tiles. Uh, of mm-hmm. course. Wow. It's even accepted as a construction material in the U.S. already. Correct. Correct. Now, so, uh, in addition to that, pwede kang gumawa ng uh, pickled uh, bamboo shoots mm-hmm. o yung bamboo. Uh-huh. Binibenta ng Vietnam yun sa Amerika, labong. labong. Oh. Ang sarap ng labong ng giant bamboo kasi malalaki. Mm-hmm. So, ang aking approach ngayon, community activity. Mm-hmm. Hindi yung bibibili na sampu dyan, bente dun. I, I, I will not uh, take that. No? Oh. We have to organize them. Oh, okay. okay, one whole community, especially pag medyo threatened ng soil erosion and flooding, then I would focus on that. Uh, I will bring in the technology uh, kasi may mga kaibigan ako. Uh, I will, uh, working with me, actually is the mother of giant bamboo in the Philippines. Si Merna Disipulo, who is based in uh, Palay Palay, Bukit Nong. No? So, so she's helping me, she's supplying me with the propagules. Mm-hmm. Ako naman ang nagpapropagate, and then I sell this. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, this ring tumani, no? Tawag namin sa kanya kasi Encyclopedia of Agriculture. Encyclopedia of Agriculture. Ang tawag namin mm-hmm. itingin sa kanya is Encyclopedia of Agriculture. Mm-hmm. Pero, because of him also, sa kampanya namin, nakaikot kami sa mga iba't ibang lugar. 
like the, 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 no, the mangroves, diba? The, yeah. the, because of the mangroves, Kabasalan, oh, tapos Kabasalan, Malawi, kala, yung Kabasalan, dahil sa mangroves, sino yung, ano, yung um, Magsensei Awardee? Ah, si ano, Roberto Balion. Okay, because of that, ang offshoot to itong mangroves niya, which was supposed to protect against storms, so yeah. it's just a set ang dami nilang talaba. No, no. Listeners, di ba? Yeah. That became their salvation even during the pandemic. Wow. So, you see, it's all connected. Eh? So, oh. alam mo, na-realize ko, because I've never really seen the entire country, you know? From traveling, ang ganda-ganda ng Pilipinas, napakayaman ng Pilipinas, laki ng potential natin. So, sabi ko, napakayaman ng Pilipinas, na Pilipinas doro, eh. pero, pero mahirap ang tao. Pero Hina, napakayaman eh. ng bansa. Alam nyo, ang oh. isang experience ko kasi nitong election, Siyempre, nag-chopper tayo once in a while. Oh, yes, chopper. Oh, Nakikita mo, sabi ko, paano, bakit may nagugutom pa? Di ba? Kaya ang dami mga bakanting lupa. Yeah, we have to plan. So, yeah, but you have, you have to provide a market, market. for yeah. what people plan. Because yes. without a market, putol yung value chain mo. Correct. Tama. Okay? So, yun, ito yung pagkakaiba ng ating project na aquaculture. Di ba, yeah. natatahan mo, sa airplano kami, ito, Carl. Nag-uusap kami. Nag-uusap kami. Even before the elections, we were already planning what we would do after yeah. the elections. Uh -huh. Because deep inside me, I had, the, I had this feeling I will not make it. No? Even the survey, the survey. Kihotik kami. Kihotik. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we just pursued, no? Yeah. Sabi ko kay Dok uh, Migita, saka kay uh, Senator Ping, sabi ko, may project ako ngayon. Hmm. Kasi kinuha ko yung KD ko from, um, from the US, si Rocky Frenz. Yung Phil, Phil Am, uh, farmer scientist. Oh, very genius, he, genius. Yeah, yeah, he's a genius. He, uh, he actually formulates the aqua fields. Uh -oh. And the whole, the whole, sabi the whole kabudol. Uh, so ngayon, sabi ko, but that will not be complete without the market. Sabi ko, Senator Ping, uh -huh. ang tanin pong kilala ng ano, may ari oh, ng mga... Oh, oh, sabi ko sino? Mga supermarkets. Hindi ko sabi ko sino. Mga supermarkets. Why don't we engage them? We will tell them, hey, uh, you want to help achieve food sufficiency in this country? Oh, you buy, you buy from us. Correct. Okay, let's come up with a marketing agreement. Lahat ng production namin, bibili nyo, para makapunta kami sa bangko, makakautang kami pang kapital sa aming aquaculture venture. Kasi itong aquaculture, this is also involves the yeah, even underwater fish cages, di ba? Yes. Para kahit may bagyo. Submersible oh, fish submersible. cages. Yeah. Para hindi masisira, at di kahit, kahit may bagyo, may pagkain pa rin. So, dalawang spaces lang ang aming oh. specialty. Ano yun? One, salt water and or brackish water tilapia. Oh. Okay. Uh, pwede nang i-raise ngayon sa, 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 sa salt water sa tilapia. Sa kabangos. Yeah. Yeah. Yun naman ang paborito natin. So, on Sunday, after oh. our engagement of war with Senator Ping, oh. I'm flying to Iliwilo. Oh. Kasi titignan ko yung isa kang hatchery doon na pagkukuran ko ng uh, fingerlings. Sige, seryoso kami. Seryoso kami. In fact, Galing. government should Magiging provide... Magiging farmer ka na. Well, uh, <laughs> government... Actually, we wanted to buy a farm. Uh -huh. Government should provide uh, free fingerlings, di ba? Even for a few Iyon, years. Iyon, sana. For a few Iyon, sana. years. Pero wala, wala tayo sa pwesto. Hindi natin makakuha yun. Sana. But, oh, suggestion. You know, suggestion. Ang akin na naman, uh, may nagtanong sa akin, are you willing to, uh, to contribute of course, I'm a Filipino. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, it is my, you know, it is my duty and obligation as a Filipino citizen Correct. to contribute. If I, if asked to contribute my my knowledge, yes, you will contribute. I will. Of as a consultant, no? yeah, yes. but I will not take a government position anymore. Yeah. Actually, no. we're all willing to help. Yeah. Because kahit bago naman tayo tumakbo, we're all helping. Oh, but oh, oh, oh. one thing about the three of us, I know anybody who wants to research our lives, you Google, oh, yeah. you know, and dami na nating amba. Sobra. Sobrang ambag sa bansa. Actually, yung pagtakbo uh, natin is just uh, an amplification of what we were already doing. Yun. Parang it's just part of the love of country. Na parang, okay. ang sabi nga ng mga tao, nasisira ka na ba ng, nasisira ka na ba ng bayan? Actually, nasabi sa akin ng mga kalimutan ng negosyante. Nasisira ka na ba ng bayan? Sabi niya, alam mo, Carl. Ako, matagal na sira. <laughs> <laughs> alam mo, kasi ako, like, uh, sa akin, sa review, basta indigenous people, libre. Alam mo? Persons with disability, libre. libre. Ganun na karami mga ITAP, mga mangyan, ang nagtuturo ngayon sa mga bundok. I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, dami mo nagawa. Uy, ako, wala, may sasang, you know, dami lang tatay mo nagawa, ikaw, yung agriculture. And Actually, ako sana, naka-program na yung, naka-program talaga ako, Dr. Carlin. Uh, na pagdating ko doon sa junction na yun, mm -hmm. the, where the road splits, uh -huh. winning or losing, isa pa rin ang pupuntahan ng aking direksyon oh, sa buhay, which is, which is my advocacy in agriculture. Yeah. Uh, my, my dream really is to prove to everybody that the Philippines could be food sufficient. Yeah. given support from government. No? Uh, but without support from government, uh, there will never be food sufficiency. Yeah. You know what? I was, I was really concerned about food security, but I became more passionate about it because of you. After me, no, and I saw it for myself <coughs> yeah. with my own eyes, and I listened to you. And 
it became it just it just encouraged me more. Now health security naman kailangan ka ayusin ang sistema pang kalusugan. It became very obvious sa pandemic, oh. no? Pero kasi natin, natin oh, oh. Doctor, oh. yung aking yung aking uh, battle cry, we can be food sufficient. Balikan natin yung Maduro. Ay, ang naging Maduro, ano, oh, across so Malangas. Oh. Eh, bakit ang daming nagtiwang mga nalupa? Correct. Kasi hindi alam ng tao kung anong itatanong nila, so, na mabibili sa merkado at yes. what price. Yeah. At saka yung, yung smuggling and Ay, importation. So, okay. Those are minor issues actually, Dr. Carlet. No, kasi nung magpapasko, uh, apat na to nila ng kalabasa, I had to rescue. Mm -hmm nilang 3,000 kilos of uh, carrots. Yeah. Alam mo, Dr. Carl, kung yung Mindoro actually, tutukan ng gobyerno, mapapadali dito sa Metro Manila yung pagkain na mura. Hindi hindi lalaban yung ano yung smuggled food. Correct. Mas mababa yung production cost ng ating mga farmers. Kanya lang yung transport na mahal. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say, yung transport. So again, government, I'm hoping actually. Alam ko, ako, ako, ganito ako, alam ko, ganito ka, ganito. Holistic ang ating view. Holistic, di ba? Like, hindi pwedeng you solve one problem without solving the others. Yeah, it has correct. to be a holistic view. Systems no? view. Systems view. Design thinking. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's parang yung, ano, yung, yung movie, yung Netflix movie, yung... Uh, yeah. The one about the airplane. Anyway, it's, it's all connected. No? Yeah. And you have to see it that way, the system. And dapat sana, I hope, and I'm still hopeful that the ones in government now will see it that way. Then, there are two things that I will do to pursue my advocacy. One, uh, I think I have time now to uh, write a book, my second book up to me, uh, The Road to Food Sufficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, I will input in that book all the things that I wanted to do, had I, had I won uh, no, in the Senate. Yeah. Yeah, can you write that na papikinabangan ng senior high school? Of course. Kasi yeah. kailangan natin ma-develop yung mga bata. Ang of average course. age 15, 7, 59, ang yeah. average age ng farmers. Eh, kung magagamit ng, ang hope ko kasi nasa bata eh. Yes. Correct. So, Carl, do you remember my message to you? I'm a communications guy. Yeah. I use simple language. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And words with simple, with singular meaning. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Hindi ako, hindi ako gumagamit ng, ano. Kaya yung susulat ko, and even the Simple. previous book that I wrote, uh -huh. uh, Feeding Millions, I can give you a copy of that actually. Uh, okay. And then, I'm going to publish. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, I want to write something about what, what are you writing about? Because I'm writing something. What, what okay, you? No, you first. Uh, I'm writing, the title of the book is T-shirt. T-shirt? T-shirt? What did you hear most during modern days? I need a T-shirt! It's true! But I want to explain you know, the sociology you know, and the psychology okay. of T-shirts. Actually, it's true. You know, 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 interpretation, deeper analysis, kung bakit bakit t -shirt. and the implication of that desire to have a T-shirt in our electoral system, in our psychology as a nation. I would love that. Yeah. I like I'm writing. I mean, my meaning lahat ng meaning T S H I R T. My meaning yon. And T-shirt explains why we are where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Pinagtanong ba sa yun ng ano? Ano platform mo? Okay, yeah, bigo T-shirt. T-shirt talaga. I mean, kasi ako to T-shirt ako sa nayon, no? Yeah. What are you writing about? <clears throat> yeah, akin siguro lang to publish after I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Joke lang. No, you know, behind the doors of the doors. And then the other program that I will undertake is uh, I've already you know, uh, actually uh, agreed in principle with the ZRH. I am sure. hosting a uh, radio program. Radio program. Weekly. Right. Uh, you should have uh, a show there. Yeah. Yeah. It's all agriculture. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I then I'll go back to my lab. Uh, which is? Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard about it. Boxing? Yeah. Hindi pa alam. Boxing. Yeah. Hindi ko alam. Boxing. Ah, it's a trainer. Promoter ako ng mga boxers. You know. Si, si, ang, ang revelation kay Dr. Nikita is, ano? nung una ko siyang na-meet, nung magkakasama kami, Inglisera kasi. Oo. Oh. So, Shalera, Inglisera. Eh, siyempre, Pero nung, eh. nung nag-kampanya, ang galing pa lang managalog. Oo. Oh. Kaya hindi ko alam. Ang galing managalog kasi ang kami. Talking kayo, about, yeah. talking about amateur boxing, did you know that I went to Havana, Cuba, to recruit a boxing coach when I was governor of the Bansa? Uh -huh. Umapot ako ng Cuba. Ganun ako ka-serious. Ang ibabalik ko to, grassroots boxing program mm -hmm. and then he incorporate ko sa public shows. Good. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you, you should have a radio show. Kailangan mas mamaster mo pa yung Tagalog. Kasi when I started with DZMM, 
Actually, ako sabi ko ka, di kita. Ang kami pala ba? Kala ko, hindi yeah. siya lang, siya lang. Alam mo, ako. alam mo, the problem uh, with people is they, they stereotype me. Uh, okay. Marami silang stereotype na mali. Yeah. Diba? Well, actually, first time po namin si Carl? President Dr. Carl, personally. No? Although, nagko-communicate kami, uh, and he told me he's following my page. Mm -hmm. uh, first time po siya namin. Very pleasant personality. Uh, Untung posible yung tumakbo po siya na doon. Pwede ka pa. Ito, pwede pa. Pwede pa. Ako, farmer na ako. Farmer. Uh, pero pag sinuportahan mo kami. Uh, tulong na ako sa inyo. Tulong na ako sa inyo. Mia, and then to, bala ko, bisitahin ka sa farmer. Ah, bala ko, gawin ang Facebook Live yung ating actually, aquaculture. Actually, uh, tell mo na, oh. yung meeting natin bukas, the first thing that we will do is set up a hat, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Doon. Doon sa farmer mismo. Ah, sa farmer? Oo. Oh. Sa farm mo. Sa farm mo set up. The moment na operational na yun, I'll bring you there yeah, with me. Yeah, the Facebook Live tayo. Of course. At saka yung ating feed meal na nag-cooperate na. Ano mo yung feed meal na yan? Oh, explain mo. Kasi may murang feeds, di ba? Ang, ang, problema, ng, ang oh. problema natin sa aquaculture, Dr. Carl, I'm talking about bangus na. Number one, ano mo ba nag-i-import tayo ng bangus fry from Indonesia? 50% of our bangus fry comes from Indonesia. Fries yung yung maliliit, yung parang, parang kabuhok, no? na pinapalaki pa para maging garungan, no? para, para, para maging fingerless. Bakit hindi tayo nakapapulbis dito? Meron, pero wala tayong hatchery sa Marlaki. Okay. Okay. See, why? Why? Hmm. Sa nauhan, nung pinagtahan ko yung nauhan na hatchery, ah. nung ako sa Secretary of Agriculture, hmm. natawa ko dahil yung, yung cost ng operation ng hatchery was bigger than the value of fingerless produced by the hatchery. So, hindi reform ko yun ako nili na inaisyo. But we really need big hatcheries. Okay? So, that's one. Hatchery. Number two, feeds. Number three, market. With that, if you can complete that, we're done. Market, tulungan kita. Ayun ang specialty. Marami naman market. Tsaka marami naman market. One, magkakaroon kami ng hatchery. For tilapia, hito. And then, yung pupuntahan ko sa Sunday, yung hatchery ni Mr. Tomas Hautea sa Dumangas. Uh, kontratahin ko na sila para sila magsusupay ng uh, okay. you know, figure sa akin. Yung sinasabi sa social media, you are you are one of the best senators we never had. <laughs> no, because you, you, you're not running anymore. Ako, as far as I'm concerned, alam mo ang indicator ko, pagpapayagan pa ako ng pamilya. Oh, grabe. Sa petition ng pamilya. Kasi, ano eh, sila yung naging ano, final... Sa akin kasi, Dr. Carl, you have to understand uh, my age. I'm 68 years old. In three years, I'll be 71. Ayaw, It's too man. late for me. Parang I'll just enjoy my life. And uh, anyway, my assurance sa ating mga kabayan, and even the uh, uh, winning leaders of this country right now, those who won in the elections, nandito lang ako, tulong yeah. ako. I'll contribute. Uh, but like uh, I'll stay out of politics, I'll stay out of government. I'd rather live a private life, uh, enjoy my... Uh, business uh, new venture friends. with uh, two new friends, friends. New friends uh, Dr. Nikita Padilla and King Lakson. And uh, hopefully, uh, yung ipapakita namin sa inyong model, complete, no? From hatchery mm. to feed mill to marketing, processing and marketing, will uh, show to the people that, hey, if Pwede. we can do this, Pwede. it can be done nationwide. Yes. 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 It can be replicated. Uh, yun na naman, Dr. Carter. You have to handle the bangus pride. Or the fingerlings. You have feed. to ano, use yung, yung feeds, feeds using local materials. Mura. Okay? Mura. Gagamit kami ng malungkay, gagamit kami ng munggo, gagamit kami ng kadyos. Okay? And then you have to have processing facility para yung isda mo, hindi yung nilagyan ng yelo, dinalan sa palengke. Dapat yung mga babae sa village, uh, sila ang involved sa deboning. At saka, ang pamarami. Sabihan namin, parang agri-industrial. Yeah. Agri-industrial farms, yeah. kompleto na yun. Yeah. So we can have those models. Eh, huwag mo na sabuhin mo na, oh, excited na lang. Huwag mo na gigil na ka. Pero ano yung exciting na? Uh, para nang i-imagine ako magkakaroon ako ng franchise niya sa ito. Kaya, you don't need you know, a franchise. We can share. Yeah, the yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean quote-unquote, franchise. Yeah. Because uh, franchise is a photocopy for good original. Ah, okay. Oh, so, right. if in I can way. have that, in a way, eh, eh complete na yung yeah. ecosystem. And you have your hot series in, ano, in uh, no, Midoro already. No. No, in, ano, in uh, Bungabong. Oo, oh, oh, pinatayo ko yun ng ako ang sekretary. Mm -hmm. And so, parating na. Well, imagine, nasa aeroplano kami madalas, ganito mga usapan natin. Uh -huh. Kasi, tapos ka naman ng panya, di ba? Yeah, pagod ka na. Tapos pagod ka na. Uh -huh. Usapan nyo lang ninyo, ano kaya kami natin? Sabi mo rin, ako na mas, 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 mas alimot yung health. 
Isis, ano eh? Yeah, I know, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Kaya, kasi, kasi ang daming racket. Ang daming racket, ang daming rin gumagawa ng pera. I'm really sorry, right. but uh, alam mo, ang gusto ko marinig sa presidente natin, which I never heard yet, lay off health. Kayong mga gustong gumawa ng katakot-takot ng pera, pwede ba? Magsilayas mo. Magsilayas mo na kayo. Magsilayas kayo sa kalusuban. Pagbigyan natin ang ating pagsano, huwag kang namagal ng sistema pa kalusuban. Huwag niyo isipin na gano'ng mga gani dyan. Umalis na kayo dyan. Kasi parang ginagawa niya, they look at it as a, as a form of money making. Correct. It should be... Especially in the middle of the pandemic alone. Yun. Oh. Kaya alam mo, well, I'm not gonna say it again. When I filed my COC, one of the things that really drove me is yung nakita ko talaga first hand. At I'll say it again. Garapalang pagpapayaman habang nagdurusa ang bayan. Nangangamatay. Nangangamatay. At garapalan. So anyway, my point is, sana the president would be really serious with all the grabe ang ano, ang kanyang mandate. Ah. Yeah. Grabe ang mandate grabe. itong presidente pa. So much expectation. So much expectation. And a very 31 huge. million uh, yeah. unprecedented okay. in so many years. Uh, But the mandate. So many years. You should use that mandate to tell all these thieves who are looking at health again to make money. This day of health. Tigilan na niya yan. No? Don't, huwag niyong, huwag niyong, dudumihan niyan, kalusugan. Give us a chance, di ba? Give us a chance to really have a good health system. And given, you know? given the mass support, actually, that uh, President-elect Bongo Marcos yeah. got, and by Vice President, President. Vice President it would be Sarah. easy for him to bring the country to where he would like to bring yes, it. Yes, agree. Okay? Kasi agree. Ma- grabe yung mass support niya. Yeah. And we have to, we have to uh, admit that. Huwag no? niyang sasayangin. Ayaw ko siyang i-preempt. I think he has good intentions. Yes, I agree also. I agree. Ako, ako ang sabi ko nga, kung sa sitwasyon niya, I think one of the best things that he can ever do in his lifetime is to convince people to sa greatness na I aming mean, sinasabi nila. Yeah. No? I mean, a- ako man yung anak ng isang pinagbibin, pinagbintang yes. ng marami, uh, I may have the intention na redeem. I- i-redeem. Yeah. I'll redeem my father's I, I think yun ang kung, kung yun ang mangyayari, at kung talagang yung leadership is getting the best people, remember he has the yeah. promise, oh, getting so. the best people, uh, we can only hope for the best. Yes, and I don't want anymore you my best people, regardless of political color, mm-hmm. and then, ano, huwag kayong, ex- don't be exclusive, don't, don't block people, yeah. Yeah. No? Don't, don't cancel people. Mukhang hindi naman, no, yeah. mukhang yeah. hindi yeah. naman, because okay. may, okay. may statement nga si, uh, VP elect uh, Sara Duterte uh-huh. that they will reach out to people who did not join them in the campaign. That's yeah. a good statement. And, yeah. and not only that, yung, yung mga uh, hindi pwedeng from one area lang. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Yung mga one provincia, color. one uh-huh. color. Yung, yung very, ano, yung ito provincia dapat ganito. Uh, so hindi, hindi political patronage. It's, it has to be the country na. Yeah. Yung united as a country. No? Ako, in education, uh-huh. na appoint na, appoint na, I mean, na nominate na si uh, Vice President uh-huh. uh-huh. elect. Yes. Uh, Sarah Duterte, may mga reactions na hindi siya educator, blah, blah. may mga nag-comment na kagad. Ang sa akin, you know, one thing is for sure, ang DepEd is a bureaucracy. It's, a, yeah. it's of me, great men and women, highly educated men, men and women. Ang kailangan lang ni Bibi Sarah doon is to really put the leadership in place, make sure that corruption doesn't take place, Again. and the vision for, uh, yung sinasabi niyang skilled Filipinos, yeah. talagang may labas siya. Yeah. Kasi, no doubt. we have a crisis of education. Yeah. Yeah. Alam mo naman yun, we've been seeing it, di ba? Talagang nakita ko sa kampanya na ang, ang, ang laking presyente ng mga Pilipino, mm-hmm. ay nakakabasa. Correct. Kahit Pilipino na simple, ha? Mm-hmm. It's tragic. Kailangan natin ayusin talaga. A- ako, may tatlo. Tat- I can summarize yeah. the recommendation I have for BB Sara. Kasi, ako yung mga followers naman kasi natin, binupush na kung, kung may papasokin ako definite. Number one, take care of our teachers. Yes. Take care of our teachers. We have to attract the best and the brightest. And train them also. Oh, and and oh. prepare them well, train them well, go back to teacher education, yeah. I use it. Pangalawa, put the learner in the middle of all of this. Let them be the guiding light. No, ano yung kailangan nila? And forward looking dapat. Yung grade 1 na papasok ngayon, ilang taon yan bago pa kinabangan ng world of work. So kailangan meron tayong capacity to see what the future world of work will demand as yes. competencies from Correct. our graduates. Correct. And pakiusap lang po, sana yung world of work na yun, makita natin yung Philippines, huwag naman laging pa-export. Yeah. Uh, the best are, uh, I'm, I'm not saying na masama yun, pero kailangan po, we are the best for the Filipinos even if we are the choice of the world. Like for example, healthcare. Uh, alam mo, oh, nurses. nurses yeah. The nurses, choice for the example, world. 
imagine mo ang nurses natin ay job order hanggang ngayon. How many percent of our current nurses That's are job order? That's why, kailangan natin yung healthcare oh. workers, isa pa yung sa mga protocol. E, ikaw, ang jo- ikaw, as secretary, kung ikaw ang job order, no? contracted only for yeah. 3 months or 6 months, okay. inoperan ka ng 100,000 salary in euro. Wala ka magagawa. Oh, wala ka magagawa. Ito na, maglalagyan mo naman deployment band, eh, kinertail mo naman yung price. Yeah. So, yeah. as akin lang talaga, take care of those who take care of yes. us. Yeah. And these are the health professionals, the teachers, or the health workers, the teachers, the teachers and the yeah. farmers. Okay? Yes. Agree. Uh, Agree. We, uh, uh, we what? Yeah. We've discussed a lot. Yes. Uh, Pero, parting parang, words mo, Dr. Carl. Ito lang, b- b- before the per- parting yeah. words. Expect us to be to have more. <laughs> may mga kasama pa kami in the future. Expect possibly, that. Possibly. possibly the others, yung pong mga interested na makipag-usap sa amin, conversation, or invite us for conversations yeah. like this. Why not? After yeah. all, we're in the same boat. Yeah. We're all in the same boat. Yeah. Doc, Doc, Doc Nikita. Your parting words. Parting words. Well, not really parting. Is Did we meet again? Anyway. Yeah. For today's session. For today's session. I hope you enjoy you enjoyed hearing all three of us together kasi and alam nyo, andito lang kami para tumulong uh, whatever happens in the future tumakuman kami o hindi tutuloy ho namin ang aming advocacy kung we are we will be tapped to be advisors consultants whatever we'll be happy to help this government and uh, ang ang ginawa ko na yung pagtakbo despite the fact that masarap ang buhay namin hindi namin kailangan, in fact, kung nagsabi na namin na sa amin, parang sila ang dudo namin, no? is dahil talaga sa matinding pagmamahal sa bayan. At isa pa yun, ang feeling at ang response ng bayan sa atin also shows you na they're also hungry. Parang sabik na sabik na sila sa mga tao na ganito, makikipag-usap, may mga plano, at talaga nakifeel yung sinseridad. Sinseridad para magsindi sa bayan. So, hindi nag-iiba yan. They could not change no matter what happens. And, uh, Nandito lang po kami, no? Uh, ikaw, Dr. Carl, ang closing, ah. Uh, Dari ikaw ang coste. Okay. So, my dear friends, uh, I'm a Filipino. Yes. Wala naman ako ibang bansa, eh. Although I did not make it to the Senate, uh, it is my moral obligation as a Filipino citizen na tumulong. Yes. Uh, in my private capacity, I will share my uh, knowledge. I will share, share whatever I could no? to ensure that uh, we achieve our... Uh, dream of uh, food self-sufficiency. Nandito lang po ako. Hindi ako pwede pumunta sa Amerika. <laughs> Pumidya lang po ako. Wanted ka ba? Hindi <laughs> lang. No, no. Uh, at uh, yun ay uh, isang commitment na gusto kong ibigay sa Pansang Pilipinas. I'm the farm boy. I'll stay in the farm. But I will not. Yeah. I, you know, I had all the opportunities and credentials to be overseas. Remember, I graduated from the Pontifical University of Santo Tomas at the time na napakataas ng demand for nurses. I did not know why I, I chose to stay. Not that something is wrong when you're uh, leaving, but I chose to stay. And I took the road less traveled by, and that's the road of business, the road of entrepreneurship, because I want to be in control of, of, you know, of my dreams and of my navigation. Pero alam nyo, ang narealize ko sa pagtakong ito, nananahimik ang buhay ko, and I was challenged by the sectors that na naapektuhan, the health sector, the education sector, the MSME sector, especially the yes. microenterprises. And sabi ko, Lord, itong tatlong ito, ito yung buhay ko, bakit ito ang tinamaan ng pandemya? And I just realized na kasi may kaya akong gawin, may pwede akong gawin, yes. at may dapat akong gawin. At yung dapat kaya na gawin, hindi yan nagtatapos na sa eleksyon. Correct. At by the way, hindi po kami natalo. Yeah. Because with millions of people still behind us, uh, that's the that cause for a celebration. And I think we have a responsibility. We just did not make it to the top two. Yes, <laughs> but we, we have enough numbers to inspire us that we have to continue. We will go on, of course, not only for those who voted for us, but for the only country we have. And that's why we're here together. Thank I'm you. Dr. Carl Balita. I'm Manny Pinion. Dr. Nikita Balita. Dr. Manny Pinion. Let's go for the show. I'm Dr. Carl Balita. I'm Manny Pinion. Farm boy. And I'm Dr. Nikita Padilla. The only rose among the thorns. Yeah, see you again. I'm going to also hold a doctorate degree. Yeah, I know. Rural development. Rural development. So we're all doctors here. In different ways. They say that we are the senatorship of the Philippines. We're all doctors here. In different ways. They say that we are the senators you never had. Rob. We are still the senators uh, you will have. 
because we are still in service, in the service of the Filipino people. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you. Nice. God bless the Philippines. God bless this administration. Yay. God bless us all.